the book of Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed, your brother Chapat Desire from the Great Millstone Chicago branch coming at you with another quick Lord willing edifying lesson. And I brought out that scripture just um, to basically just give the intro um, to well, duh. But I brought out that scripture because based upon the current events, as far as finance is concerned, the Federal Reserve, a.k.a. these damn devils, they're moving fast. OK, and they're getting ready to roll out the first step of this uh, beast system, fi this financial beast system. OK, OK. At the end of the day, they want a one world government with a one world currency. OK, which is going to give them total control over everything. All right. And so. This is one of the first chess pieces. All right. This is one of the first pawns in order to accomplish that, because this devil, he's getting ready to really usher in his new world order. OK, we're already in the new world order, but he's putting the finishing touches upon it. You see. So um, we're talking about Fed now. What is Fed now? Fed now is basically it's going to be a program to where you can get real time payments and transactions done, but it's going to encompass all the banks. You know, there's going to be no more. They're going to do away with Venmo. They're going to do away with Zelle. They're going to do away with uh, Cash App. Speaking of Cash App, the founder and creator of Cash App was just recently stabbed to death in San Francisco. <laughs> Go figure. You know, what a coincidence. All right. But they're going to do away with these different um, systems, these different apps, these different mediums of transferring cash and things of that nature, transferring payments, it's like you're not cash, but transferring payments and, and digital transactions. So they're going to take over the digital world and eventually usher in a CBDC, which is a central bank digital currency. All right. And this guy, Glenn Beck, and this guy, uh, Justin Haken, Haskins, whom he's on the phone with. All right. They're basically, hey, they're giving you some real game and letting you know how they're going to do it, which they're just echoing what the men of the Lord have been saying was going to happen via prophecy of the Holy Bible. All right. But they have a, you know, they explain it a little more extensively. And we're going to tie that back in with the scriptures. Without further ado, let's get it. OK, the Federal Reserve is basically a drug pusher. OK, and this is the start of it. Normally, regular folks like you and me and people in the audience, we don't interact with the Fed. We're not used to that. We don't like the Fed. We don't trust them very much. And so what they want to do is say, just have a little taste. You'll see. It's going to be great. Just have a little taste. This is a, this is a stepping stone to a CBDC. This is our first interaction to using the Fed directly so that we can become more comfortable with it, so it's normalized. And then after this, you're going to get a central bank digital currency. We already know this because there's a billion government reports talking about how they're going to design it, what it's going to look like, why people should use it, what the principles should be behind it, all of that kind of stuff. So we know a CBDC is coming. This is just the first step in that process to try to normalize people interacting directly with the Fed in this sort of high-tech uh, instant transfer payment uh, portal. So we've been talking about the Uniform Commercial Code, which is complicated, and it's, it's, it's usually nothing anyone should ever have to think about. However, they have included central bank digital currency as the new definition of money. But money makes us think of money that you can take from the bank, that you own it, you get paid, you get to do what you want with it. But central bank digital currency is not really money, correct? Yeah, what's happening in uh, more than 20 states across the country right now, and it's going to happen in all 50 states eventually, is lawmakers are looking at updating the Uniform Commercial Code so that 
a foundation is being laid for a future central bank digital currency, and not just any kind of central bank digital currency, but a central bank digital currency that is programmable, trackable, that you, you won't have any privacy with the things that you're doing with the CBDC, that it can be controlled and manipulated. This kind of thing is actually being written into the code. They don't use the word central bank digital currency, but they, but they outline it in such a way so that that has to be what they're talking about. So it's not creating the CBDC. That's not what this is no. aiming to do. It's just laying the foundation to make it easier to use it in certain kinds of commercial transactions. So, so people know, and this is what you really have to understand, this is not like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is such a danger because you get to do with it what you want to do with it. And the Federal Reserve is not aware of anything and can't do anything. You have the ultimate power with your money. The opposite is true with the, uh, the Fed coin that they will be introducing. And this what is what makes it so dangerous, not just the tracking they not will not just know absolutely everything that you spend, but Justin just said a key word that most people don't really understand. It's programmable, meaning it is programmable for the individual. So in other words, if the government decides that they're going to, uh, you know, we need to get we need to cut down on fat, fat fatties, then my digital coin will not allow me to buy fatty foods. I wouldn't be able to go to McDonald's. I'm using this as an example. There is not you know, anything in the works to do this, except this is what programmable means. They can program it, so if they say, you know what, nobody's going to work, uh, you're not an essential employee, your coin will not buy gas. So you can go to try to fill up, but when you put your digital card in from the Fed, it will say denied. And you won't have any way other than that card to be able to buy what you need. It is absolute control of your life. Yes, that, that, is, that is exactly right. And there actually has been things, statements that have been made by the Biden administration. Yeah, but that's about it. But yeah, as you can see, all right. Well, it's a lot you know that was about three minutes long. But as you can see, total control is on the way. Total control is on the horizon for not just the American economy, but for the whole world. All right. And this is the world that we're going to have to live and navigate in. And that's why it's very what? Imperative. Very, very imperative. Very important that what? We foresee the evil. And where do we hide ourselves? In Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because the days are coming where shit it's going to be just evident in your face that, look, this is the only way. <laughs> all right. This is the only way we're going to be, be able to get by, man. OK. <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon them that stay upon him that smote them but shall stay upon Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth, right? Because what? Once they come through with this programmable central bank digital currency, like he said, it's going to be total control. So as far as those that push this truth, they can make life, uh, they can make life difficult for you, okay? <laughs> All right? All right, they want total control. This is a part of that B system. So... Hey, you may not be able to go to work. Like he said, hey, you try to go get some gas, they're going to deny you. You try to buy some food, they're going to deny you. All right. They're going to attempt to starve you out and banish you away from dealings in society. OK, completely uh, uh, ostracize you, you know. So then what? We got to depend on Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. And that's all right. We've been depending on him this long. So shit, he's not one to confound us. OK. OK. And a lot of people are going to get caught off guard by this thing, man. All right. Especially two thirds of Israel. They have no idea what the fuck is going on. All right. Our people are just stuck in the mindset of partying and bullshitting. Meanwhile, this devil is making moves. See. And guess what? This is not going to be a smooth transition either. 
Look forward to more riots. Look forward to more sedition because the Edomites, all right, these patriotic, all right, six pack jack, don't tread on me, all right, <laughs> constitution uh, 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 waving, gun toting Edomites over here in America, these proud devils, they can see what's coming down the pike. And if you think for one second that they're just going to sit idle and let this shit happen, you crazy as hell, man. All right. These Edomites are going to get ready to raise hell for real. They're going to take it out on their governments and they're going to take it out on, on you two third niggas, man. So it's getting ready to be some very perilous times here in America. It's getting ready to be um, uncertain, Orwellian. OK, total control, everything uh, under surveillance. All right. And it's going to be bugged out. Disorder everywhere. All right. So mental illness, demons everywhere. It's going to be draconian laws going about, man. All right. It's just going to be that much more uh, tougher to live. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai got us because he said what? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and uh, 13. It says, therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Right. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right. So, the Lord, hey, the, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to be cool, man. Going to be provided for. All right. Provision has been made already ahead of time. All right. Our father said what? Before he did anything, he thought of everything, man. OK. The scriptures say what? He hath care for his elect. So, hey, the, the, the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the chosen uh, uh, men, women, and children of Yasharala, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, that small number that is slated for salvation, they're going to be straight, okay? But what, two-thirds, the heathen, these Edomites, they're going to be in total straits, positions of difficulty, uncomfortability, all right? <laughs> You can be out here hungry, man. Let that damn let somebody go to uh, uh, McDonald's. All right. Because these people are bugged out, man. These people, they, they kill you over cold fries, man. And, and that ain't even cap. Like there's literally you can go on World Star. Hey, somebody killed somebody because their fries were cold. People get shot because the goddamn uh, milkshake machine is broke, man. All right. So they're doing these things in the green tree. Imagine what they're going to do when the shit dries up. All right. But nonetheless, let let one of these bugged out ass Americans. All right. Go to try to get some McDonald's, man. Or goddamn uh, a double Whopper with cheese, you know. And that damn. They get a goddamn <laughs> some pop up. Yeah. Your card ain't working. Nah, yeah. You shut down, man. All right. This ain't essential for you. Or, hey, you try to go to the grocery store, get you a six pack of chicken wings and the machine shows you a prompt. You know, hey, you've exceeded your limit of meat for the month. OK, choose a vegetarian option. These people are going to bug the hell up, man. They're going to test some shit up. You understand? That's when they're going to get to really committing crimes. That's when they're going to really get to uh, uh, rioting and looting. OK. Especially Jake. It's going to be some wild animal shit going to go down out here, man. But what? These are the beginnings of sorrows. These things are just beginning. And that's why the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on his men to make these videos and warn Israel. That, hey, look, this shit is about to get shaky out here, man. All right, buckle up. <laughs> it's about to be a bumpy ride very soon. It's right around the corner. Like, like this guy said, like the Edomite said, he's just giving you a taste right now. You know? You're just getting a little taste. This is going to lead into this uh, digital currency that's programmable, that's totally controllable, man. 
and life as you know it here in Babylon the Great, it's been, it's been a flip, man. It's getting ready to really switch up. Okay? And this is how it's going to go down for the rest of the world. So, you know, let's, let's just take heed, man, because, hey, this devil's moving. I'm going to end it on Revelation. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12. It's like you. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Who is that talking about? The elect. Okay? What? We sit in heavenly places with Yahweh Shai. Because what? Our mind is on the kingdom. Our mind is in the truth. Okay? Our treasures are, are not where moth and dust corrupts, man. Our treasures are in heaven. Okay? We treasure this knowledge. We treasure this word. And it's through this word that what? We can warn the people. And we can get our minds right. Because this shit about to get crazy. Continuing on, Revelation 12 and 12. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, right? So, so hey, destruction, terror to the inhabitants of the earth and sea. Why? For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. See that? Okay. So, hey, they're going to come out with this programmable currency. It's going to shut you down when they feel necessary. So, okay. And like I said, that's going to bring about great violence, great sedition, great rebellion. But what? <laughs> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai already planned for this. That's why this devil, hey, they're moving fast to create the AI. You're getting ready to have a, a robo police walking around, just like they showed you in uh, Elysium. Okay. The police, all right, the centurions, <laughs> the, the quote unquote peacekeepers, they were androids, man. <laughs> okay. They were laying down the law and they weren't, uh, 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 they weren't negotiating a goddamn thing. Okay. They weren't compromising a goddamn thing. It just, hey, they was coming with that straight rebuke. <laughs> All right. That's what this devil is. He's going to come with this shit, man. All right. So, hey, just just hold fast. All right. And Barak Athaya, how about Shimi? I was shy. We're that much closer to salvation. These things must come, man. All right. The evil must happen in order for the good to come. Hope this was edifying. All praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rachakwadash, Shalawam, and the Baba Ball.